Hello everyone, welcome to Spiritual Butterfly. Today I will be doing a reading for the sign of Sagittarius. So Sagittarius, we are going to be looking at the new year, the spring new year that begins on March 20th. By the time you see this video, it may be after March 20th. But we're going to be looking at changes that are going to be having in, happening in your life from March 20th of 22 through March 20th of 23. So this is a general reading. Not everything is going to resonate. Just take what does, apply it, and leave the rest. Also, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell in order to receive notifications when I post. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into your reading and see what messages Spirit has for you. So Spirit, what messages do you have for Sag? What can they expect for the spring new year? Okay. I have trust. I am safe. I am secure in love. I trust. My faith endures. And then success, success that success that's true belongs to me. Success with honor, integrity. Let's get another message. I see like with this trust, I'm looking like at this um, tree branch. I just see like a lot of growth for you. I see a lot of growth. Um... I see a lot of prosperity. I see a lot of peace. I feel like you're growing into yourself, if that makes sense, Sagittarius. Like you're finally growing into yourself. You're finally growing into um, the person spirit wants you to become. I heard spiritual for a lot of you. You're going to become be becoming more spiritual. I heard shaman for someone. Let's get another message. I feel like with the success, um, this is a more internal success. This is a more, um, I heard like so glad I made it, I made it through. This is a more um, emotional success, emotionally fulfilling success where it's like you have finally made it, like you finally made it to the other side of a situation. Um, you finally grown, you finally outgrown um, certain situations that were not healthy for you. It's like this success is just about you successfully becoming a better version of you. Let's get another message. rise passion rise up high and flame my purpose reach the sky so yeah um i'm getting divine feminine divine masculine energy so for some of you you're definitely either going to be meeting um your divine feminine divine masculine you're going to be meeting a her soulmate the one that's for you whatever you want to call it <laughs> It's the one that's for you that you're going to be meeting. I'm also feeling like, again, you are coming into alignment with yourself. You are being more, becoming more balanced within the next year um, mentally. And again, I keep hearing spiritually. Like for a lot of you, um, your spirituality is going to be like a main focus for you. Let's pull some more messages. Spirit, tell me more about trust for Sagittarius. Messages for trust. Okay, what do I have? Oh, I have abundance. Yes. And again, I'm just looking at the flowers. I feel like for some of you, for some of you, I heard like run through the rain. This abundance is like happiness is, is joy for you. Um, This is just going to be about you really like loving life, seeing the abundance that is life. You're finally going to be... In a place where you have abundant joy, abundance and overflow of joy. It's like where, you know, you may have felt, um, I heard like a Debbie Downer. So maybe where you may have felt like down, I'm also getting depression for someone. It's like, you're finally going to come over that hurdle and you're going to be happy. Like you're really going to be able to embrace the simplicity of life, the peace of life, um, just overall take hold of what's before you 
you're definitely going to be learning just how to trust more, how to trust the process, trust that, you know, life happens in season. I heard like bloom because a lot of things are finally going to start to come to pass, like um, fruition, if I'm saying that correctly for you. Um, I heard you're going to see the fruits of your labor pay off. For a lot of you, you're going to be connecting more with animals. I'm, I'm getting like your spirit animal. I'm getting a cow for someone. I even heard a mule. For someone, you may live on a farm or you may be moving to farmland. Yeah, I heard like green pastures. You're really going to be exploring nature more, Sagittarius. Let's get a message for success. Look at what I have, voyage. Yeah, because this is a journey. Like, you've been on a journey, a very heavy journey. But it's like you made it through and you're stronger than ever. You're more confident than ever. And you feel more successful. You feel abundant. You feel abundant. You're going to feel happier because of this journey. I heard like highs and lows. Yeah, you've been through a lot of highs and lows. Um, a lot of difficult and challenging experiences. But it's like I heard like eyes wide open. It's like you can finally see. Like you can just finally recognize life for what it is. Let's get a message for passion. I have transformation. Yeah. This is about you changing. You are going to be going through an amazing change. And I keep getting spirituality for some of you. You are definitely going to be coming more spiritual. Um, tapping more into your spiritual essence. More into who you are as a person. I'm also getting lineage. Like within the next year, you may be researching more about your family lineage. Where you come from. Let's pull some more messages. Spirit, tell me more about abundance. Tell me more about abundance for Sagittarius. What do I have? Yeah, I have the King of Swords. Exactly. Your mindset. Um, you was not seeing clearly, thinking clearly. It's like... You were going through the experiences, you were going through the emotions, but you weren't really learning from it. Um, you weren't growing from them. You were just going through them. And it's like now I heard like reflect. Now when you look back on these experiences, um, I heard steward. I heard like experience is the best teacher. Like you're letting them, you're allowing them to change you. Like even as you go through you know certain situations currently like you're allowing them to change you where it was like you were very closed off to growth to change um you just wanted to continue living the same way being the same way you weren't learning but now you are I heard like the teacher has become the student. For some of you, you're going to be able I heard like life lessons. Yeah, you're learning the lessons. You're finally learning the life lessons that you need to learn. Spirit, give me a message for voyage. Okay, so I have the five of wands in the reverse. I have the page of swords and I have the queen of wands. Yeah, for a lot of you, this next year is going to be about you learning. It's going to be about you gaining more knowledge for someone. You may be going back to school. That is what I'm getting. I'm also getting cooking for some of you. Um, You may be going. I heard like the culinary arts. You may be going to school um, for culinary arts. But yeah, you're definitely going to be researching, learning, gaining more knowledge, especially when it comes to, I heard divination, spirituality, spiritual practices. And again, I heard ancestors. You're going to be studying more about your ancestor, your lineage, and how they may have used certain spiritual practices. Like, um, you're going to be fully in your power of manifestation. There's going to be a lot of things happening to you 
that you're going to be amazed at. Just amazed how you were able to call them in. Yeah, you're going to, so for some of you, you're going to be researching how to manifest. And I'm just looking at her face like you're really going to be amazed that, you know, your manifestations, like your practices actually work. Um, I feel like with this five of wands in the reverse, it's like you're no longer fighting against your calling, like your destiny. It's like you're allowing the process. You're accepting the transition. You're accepting the change. Um, you're ready for something new. You're ready for a brand new experience. You you want to become more enlightened. And you, I heard like skilled practices. Yeah, you want to become more skilled at whatever um it is that you are practicing, whatever it is that you want to learn about. It's like you really want to be. Again, I heard steward and I heard teacher. You want to be very knowledgeable. You want to become like a guru in whatever industry you're working in. Let's get a message for transformation. Spirit, give me a message for transformation for Sagittarius. Okay, what do I have? Oh, I have the Hermit transformation. Yeah, for some of you, you're going into Hermit energy. You're pulling back. Um, you're Again, a lot of reflection, becoming more balanced. There's going to be a lot of significant changes going on inside of you the way that you think the way that you process is going to be very different your interactions with people is going to be very different the way that you see life is going to be very different Sagittarius you are going through an immense change people are not even going to be able to recognize who you are um I'm just getting a vision of someone who may you know have been very materialistic um or just really you know like certain things, certain material things, designer clothes, maybe purses, shoes, Um, you know, like to wear, you know, the bundles, the wigs. And it's like you are completely getting away from that. I heard like a natural approach for some of you. You may start to wear your hair more natural, Um, you know, wear clothing. I can't think of the word. Um, I'm getting like Erica Baidu kind of vibe. You know, you may want to wear clothing very similar to Erica Baidu. Um, I am still trying to think of the word that I want to say. Bohemian. There it is. For someone, you may um, start dressing in a more bohemian style. Let's pull some more energies for you. Spirit, tell me more about what is coming for Sagittarius within this next spring new year. I'm also getting like dreads for someone. Um, You may start wearing dreadlocks. You may cut your hair off. That's what Spirit is giving me. I have life purpose. Let's get some more messages. I have finding, okay. Okay, oh, and I have willpower, okay. So you're definitely elevating, like you're going from this small globe to this big globe. So um, I definitely see you elevating. I definitely see you um, just overcoming any challenges. I heard strife for someone. Um, with this life purpose and finding, like this is you finding your calling, finding your true self, your identity. That's what Spirit is saying. In the next year, you are going to be finding your identity, who you truly are, who you are meant to be. And it's going to be very different from, you know, who you were just a year ago, five years ago. You're going to look very different. And I keep looking at her hair. Like for some of you, you are going natural. I heard fro. You're going to be rocking the fro. I'm also getting like you're going to rock a fro and you may like dye it brown or have like brown highlights in it. Spirit, give me a message for life purpose. Tell me about life purpose for Sagittarius. What do I have? The Six of Cups. Yeah. 
This is you fully coming into alignment with your life purpose. This is spirit like saying, you know, here, like you've been searching. And these cups, they're all empty. It's like you've been searching for yourself. You've been, you know, you went on a journey of self-discovery. And it's like you finally found who, who you are. Spirit is finally giving you the cup that holds the key to who you are, your true essence, Sagittarius. You've been searching for a long time, trying to find yourself for a long time. Where do you fit in ever since you were a child? And it's like, now you're finally here. I heard 35. For some of you, you may be 35. Spirit, give me a message for finding. Give me a message for 35. I also heard the number 22. You may be 22 for others of you. Okay, what do I have? I have the Nine of Cups and I have the Eight of Cups in the reverse. So for some of you, this is about you finding happiness, being happy, learning how to be happy by yourself, learning how to be fulfilled alone and not needing anyone. Yeah. Finding true joy, being content. When it comes to your life, I feel like um, with this, Eight of Cups. I heard like revisiting. You're going to be revisiting certain things in your life that you may have let go of. You may have stopped doing. You have walked away from. And you're going to be finding happiness with those things um, because of your perspective. So there are certain things that you have stopped doing. Um, I heard people, for some of you, certain people, relationships that you have disconnected from that you're going to be reconnecting with within this next year. Let's get a message for willpower. What do I have? I have the Knight of Cups. Um, for someone, I feel like you're going to be overcoming um, a situation where you experienced a disappointment where you didn't get what you wanted. But there's a reason why you didn't get what you wanted. I heard an acting gig. For some of you, you may not get an acting role. You may be an actor or actress. Um, I'm also getting a love offer for others of you, but it's like there's something that you were very hopeful about, but you ended up being disappointed in the end. Like this person or this situation did not offer you that opportunity, did not offer you, you know, that emotional fulfillment. And it's like you're moving past it. And it's like you're focusing on bigger and greater things for yourself. And it's like you're recognizing that even though I didn't get this cup, I know God, I know spirit has more for me. So willpower It's like you're overcoming the setbacks, the challenges, and you are gaining a bigger perspective. You're moving towards bigger. For some of you, you may have not gotten this cup, but spirit has bigger opportunities in store for you. Let's pull some final messages. Spirit, what final messages do you have for Sagittarius? Final messages for Sagittarius. I'm also getting with this is of cups and this nine of cups, um, your mom for you, Sagittarius. There's something very significant about the relationship with your mom um, and, and what she's taught you, remembering like what she's taught you, like the values that she has instilled in you, the morals that she has instilled in you. And it's like, you know, you're going from this child to this woman or, you know, from this child to this man who is very happy. Um, for a lot of you with this Eight of Cups, this is just about you revisiting, you know, old childhood memories that you have shared, you know, with your mom in the next year and using those experiences to really bring everything together and create fulfillment for yourself. Um, yeah, like what did your mom tell you? It's like your mom, I heard like independent, like your mom, you know, encouraged you to be more independent. 
um, to really step outside of the box, step outside of your comfort zone. She really supported you. And it's like, look how far you have come. Look how far you have come. And it's like with this Eight of Cups, I heard like give up for some of you. Like she's taught you about the importance of not giving up on yourself, not giving up on life. And it's like here you stand even more confident than ever, even more self-assured than ever. Um, I heard like passed on for some of you. Um, your mother has already transcended, but it's like you still carry these same teachings with you every day. And I heard mirror, I heard like a reflection of you, yes. A reflection of you. Um, for some of you, you are a reflection of your mom. That's what I'm getting. I heard like you look just like her. You have hair just like her. Um, I heard something um about your eye color. I heard pretty brown eyes. So you may have had you may have very um I heard big and beautiful brown eyes like your mom, but it's like um you have not forgotten the relationship, the connection you've shared, and it's even empowered you more to really step outside of your comfort zone and create, you know, this happy new life that you desire, that you really deserve. Spirit, give me some final messages for Sagittarius. Yeah, that message is very specific for someone. I'm also getting like for someone, like you may be a school teacher or your mother may have been a school teacher. I heard a principal for someone. I heard it at, um, at an elementary school. I have, I can change my thoughts. Exactly. This is about you changing your perception in the next year. Your perception about yourself. Yes, changing your thoughts. I'm getting when you change your thoughts, you're changing the way that you feel. You change the way that you believe. You're changing the way that you perceive. The way that you take in information. Your outlook on life. Let's get another message. That's what you're going to be doing. Changing the way you think. Changing the way that you look at certain situations around you, Sagittarius. Changing the way that you look at yourself. Let's get one more message. And I'm also getting the actor again. So for someone, like you're an actor or an actress. Um, I also heard like ballerina, ballet. Spirit, give me one more message for Sagittarius. Okay. The last message I have is I trust my intuition exactly. Finding, trusting yourself, trusting what you have found. Yes, trusting your intuition and that you are moving in the right direction. Because for some of you, I'm getting like change could be scary. And again, like you're not even going to recognize yourself. You're going to be so different. But it's like you trust yourself. You trust the process. You trust what you're feeling. That's ultimately what spirit wants you to know in this next year, to trust what you feel. Go with that gut feeling. I heard don't let anyone or anything hold you back from this transformation, from this change. Continue to go with the flow, go with the process. Continue to trust the guidance that God is giving you, Sagittarius. God wants you to know that you are headed in the right direction. So Sagittarius, these are your messages. I hope they resonate. Stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Everyone stay blessed.